Hey, I'm Dan. Uh, today I want to show you how to bring a custom map on your Garmin GPS. Uh, I own a Garmin Oregon 450 and you have the possibility of adding uh, custom maps on your GPS which is great because I have the topo map but it doesn't show me the trails um, and whenever I go hiking or mountain biking uh, it's a nice, nice thing to have even though it's just uh, an image it's not an actual routing, uh, uh, it's not routable um, I really like that feature. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Um, first, you need to take a look at the, gu the guidelines for the Garmin unit. Um, some of them are really important, some others are just well, information. Actually, they're all important. Um, you need a JPEG image. You can have a PNG or a GIF file or PDF. It needs to be a JPEG and it'll store them in a KMZ file in Garmin custom maps on your unit. The images over one megapixel, this one right here, um, they'll be rendered at a reduced resolution. Reduced resolution, sorry, on the unit, uh, which means you lose a lot of quality. Uh, the bigger it is, uh, the greater the loss. Uh, but what's really important, even though you lose quality, you'll see the image. What's really important though is that each JPEG should be lower than three megs. Um, that's it. First thing to do is to find a good map. Uh, that's for Oak Initial Park. It's the park here uh, next to my house. Next to my house, about what 20 minutes from here. That I go most often. Um, winter, summer. This one is a winter map, and they provide it as a PDF. So you want to download the PDF. Just put it there, and then it's right there. Oops, downloads. Let me close that. So you want to convert it from a PDF. Um, to a JPEG. Now I know this tool right here, Convert, uh, doesn't give me the best quality but I don't want to spend time. You, you could use Photoshop or the GIMP, any, any tool really, you'll, it will give you uh, the same result which is a uh, JPEG image. If you want to see the JPEG it's right here. So I had my PDF and now I have my JPEG and it's ready to use. So you open up your Google Earth and you zoom into the area you want to modify. What was that? Alright, that was my house. Let me just put it north where it should be. And there's my area. So you right click on, uh, right now on temporary place, you could put it anywhere. You can see my overlays are in, uh, in the overlay folder. Then you can add an image overlay. Uh, you give it a title. I'll name it Test Oka. I already have the uh, real one that I made um, a few weeks ago. Um, link. You can browse your image. See right here. It's in my downloads. My converted image to JPEG. You open it, and then your image is right there. Um, to make it fit, you want to have it a bit transparent. So you slide down the opacity, so you can see through it. And I'll move this out of the way on the second monitor. Um, and now it's too big. So I'll just roughly resize it. What's easy just to, to get started is to use a lake because most of the time it's like a dark spot on a green area. You can see my little lake right here goes over there and it's too small so I'll need to make it bigger like this. Let me just put it a bit bigger again. Eh, still bigger because the shoreline right here should be aligned. Now when I say you use the lakes to get started, um, lakes are great to get your uh, your localization but afterwards to be precise you want to use uh, something that's uh, more accurate like roads. Uh, you've got to look for forks and roads and you know what I think <laughs> it's pretty darn close. Uh, let me move it out so you can see. This fork right here should go over there, right? So you bring it like this. And then all of the other rows should be aligned. On top here, you can see there are two rows, one dark and one light. And you know what? It's really, really not bad. Let's pretend it was like this. So my dark row should be with the top one and you keep on going. You'll have to go back and forth, top and bottom, until it's all aligned. But for this tutorial, I really 
don't want to spend too much time on this so let's just pretend it's perfect even though it's not so you bring back your opacity all the way to the top and you click on OK so there's your map uh, could show you with a few tracks that's us snowshoeing I said it wasn't perfect uh, right now you can see the the black dotted line which is the path that we followed and in red is my my track yeah I know the track might not actually be there but it, you know it's pretty darn close so uh, I'm happy with it when you want to export it you just right click on your overlay save place as and then you name it whatever you want just keep test Oka and GMZ file you save it and there you go should be back in your folder in my case it's my download I'm just using it to, to, to work right now then you take your GPS and I should have done that before because you'll need to wait now and you plug it in hmm was my GPS already on? alright there you go GPS is on so you copy that was control C by the way and then should get my GPS there it is actually I'll just drag and drop it never do that but custom maps Garmin custom maps so you take your map and you copy it there and that's it for the computer all right so my GPS is on if uh, you go and set up then map oh that was display map I said uh, map information select like map on the bottom I've got enabled custom maps trouble finding satellite I'm downstairs can I do searching no alright sorry about that so my custom maps are enabled right here and all the KMZ files are, are showing um, <clears throat> which is why like I told you you don't want to have like a hundred maps in there it can be quite a mess all right, go back and map. That's home. Let me go to the Oka Park, which is right here, not far from my home. That's uh, my snowshoeing uh, hike. It's not the same one I showed you on the computer. This one is uh, the latest one. Um, three days ago, I went with all four kids alone with them. So my five-year-old with snowshoes, my four-year-old on snowshoes one of my babies which are going to be one year old in two weeks and my backpack and the other one in the uh, polk in the back it was fun alright so you see all the pads actually sorry about the glare um, and you can see my my red line which is what I've uh, what I walked and sorry about the camera work I'm trying to look at my my screen and my camera at the same time um, this image I did not split in four like I told you you could do um, it's the more than one megapixel image if you zoom in you can see the text right here you, you can actually read it barely yes you can but that's the bigger text remember if I zoom on the smaller one good luck reading that so that was my tutorial on how to make Garmin maps if you have any questions just ask and I'll try to answer them thanks for watching